This is pre-calculus fall 2016 ACP preview problem 11. This problem is a problem where we need to find a series, a summation of a series. The first three terms of a sequence are shown. And if we look at this, we can notice that how much do you go from one term to get to the next term? Well, that's going to be D, our common difference, which equals 4. And you can get our common difference if you take A sub N, any term, minus its predecessor term, in this case A sub N minus 1. So if we take, in this case, negative 79, and we subtract the predecessor term, which is negative 83, we get negative 79 minus negative 83, which is same as plus 83, we get a we get 4. Now we can do this the long way if we want to. We can just take negative 83 and add to that negative 79, add to that negative 75, and then negative 71. The next one's going to be able to be negative 67. And keep on going until we have 53 terms total. Now this is a this is an arithmetic sequence, and I'm going to write write it out here. It looks like I'm writing arithmetic, doesn't it? Well, actually, we're using the word arithmetic, which is an adjective, and that adjective is how the the sequence in this case is created by adding four to each successive term. Well, the from uh, To, uh, I don't know. And if we want to find a an arithmetic sequence, it's done by this. We take the total number of terms n. We take the first term plus the last term over two. So in this case, we have everything we need. We have except for a sub n. Well, a sub n, or a, let me get the formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus d times quantity n minus 1. So in this case, a 53rd term is going to be the first term, which is negative 83 plus 4 times, we have n minus 1. Well, that's going to be 53 minus 1, or 52. So you have negative 83 plus 4 times 52. Let's go get that in our calculator. So we have negative 83 times 4, it's plus actually, plus 4 times 52, and we got this here, there we go, that should get it, 125. So to go back here to find what our summation is, that's going to be 53 times quantity. Our first term is negative 83 plus 125 over 2. And with the right, I didn't write 125. And so we just need to put this in our calculator. So we have 53 times quantity negative 83, which is a sub 1, plus a sub 53, which is 125, and divide all this by 2, 
and we get 1113. And to mark in our answer, we have, we can say plus one, 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 three, marking in our grid. Now, if we don't put plus, the scoring is going to assume plus. Here we fill in our bubbles, one, 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 three. And we have our correct answer. We can put these. The main thing you have to work, people ask me, what, what about, where do you put in the 1113? You can put them anywhere, just as long as you have the decimal place. You can't have 0.1113. So the thing is going to assume that this consecutive, your decimal place is to the right of this. So that's going to be it. Good luck. Take a look at problems 11A and 11B, which are similar to 11. As always, good luck and thanks for viewing.